seven one. Oh, that oh that's so beautifully played. I mean, it's just like a little jab down below his knee. Eleven ten. Where he takes this. <laughs> Wonderful racket head control. Oh, that's unbelievable. Literally, as soon as Mossa had had actually lunged, he wasn't coming back, and he'd already and volleyed this to short. Two. And it stays so short up the court. Oh, absolutely brilliant. How casual was that? You could see he was a, a little bit irritable because his, his, well as he comes in here, he catches Will Strott with his swing, but then there's the variation. That's an encouraging sign and a shot of confidence. Oh, nearly. <laughs> oh, he's, that, he's does a completely 180 sure looks up to the uh, skies there. Five, he's like, seven. obviously thinking, what am I doing? But he got away with it. Oh, oh there it is. Again. There oh, it is. Yeah. Well, it was only a few inches off the side ball there, PJ. You see this, it squirts out a bit, and there it goes. Ferocious pace, how's he got that? Oh, what a clever bit of squash. I don't know how he's got the ball back on the front of the wall, front of the court. And then suddenly he comes in, this is the improvisation with the wrist, and he's caught Will Strop on the chest. He did a similar shot on uh, the front left-hand corner in the second game, Rami is short. Well, there's the get full stretch. I mean, he unbelievable. You said it was going to really start to hot up in the mid-stage, and it is now. 6-3, a short is looking to fire it round. There's... Oh, there it is. He had to hold his movement, didn't he? Will Strott waited and waited and waited. He knew something was going to come, but not directly. Cross-court flick. 